Chapter 4 The Northern Plain Region Western Punjab and Haryana We will study the following points in this chapter. Physiography Climate Soils Natural Vegetation and Animal Life Population and Settlement Economic Development which includes Agriculture Mining Industries Transportation Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems 4.1 Physiography Geologically speaking, the region is of a recent origin. It is formed of sediments brought by the Himalayan rivers. The plain is bounded by the Shivalik Range in the north, the Rajasthan Desert in the south, Pakistan in the west and Delhi Ridge in the east. The region slopes to the south and southwest. Its elevation varies between 275 meters in the northeast and 175 meters in the southwest. This plain is a fertile alluvial plain with many rivers and an extensive canal irrigation system. A belt of undulating hills extends along the northeastern part of the region along the foothills of the Himalayas. The average elevation of this undulating hills is about 300 meters. The southwest of the plain, which is semi-arid, eventually merges into the Rajasthan Desert. The northern part of the region is drained by the Ravi, Bees and Satluj rivers. Most of the region is drained by small seasonal streams known as Chos, which descend from the Shivalik Ranges. During the rainy season, these Chos overflow and cause floods. The area between Yamuna and Satlij is occupied by the river Ghagar. The Ghagar rises in the outer Himalayas and flows through Haryana and then goes to Rajasthan. Four point two Climate The region has a monsoon type climate with the dry cold winters and hot summers. The climate is characterized by extreme hot and extreme cold conditions. Annual temperatures in the plain range from 2 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. May and June 4.3 Soils The soils are predominantly alluvial. Light sandy loams are found in the southern part while red loam prevails in the west of the Bhanga regions. The northern and the eastern parts have soils abounding in lime. Four point four Natural Vegetation and Animal Life The Shivalik area is the richest area of this region in terms of the floral and faunal diversity. Dry deciduous vegetation with thorny shrubs and bushes dominate the plain. Eucalyptus, pine, kekar. There are a number of wetlands, bird sanctuaries and zoological parks across the region. These include the Harike Patan National Wetland and Wildlife Sanctuary at the Harik in Taran, Taran Sahib district. Do you know, the state bird of Punjab is the Baz. The state animal is the black buck. 
Crocodiles are also commonly found in the rivers of this region. Camels thrive in the hot southern plains and herds of buffaloes in the lands adjoining the river. Horses are reared in the northern part of the Punjab. Other mammals like the smooth-coated otter, hog deer, wild cat, squirrel, panther, nilgai, black buck, jackal and mongoose can be seen in the reserves. 4.5 Population and Settlement According to 2011 census, the total population of both states is 5.30 crores. Around 72% of the total population is rural and predominantly engaged in agricultural activities. Industrialization has led to increased urbanization. Density of population is 561 persons per square kilometer. Ludhiana is the largest city in this plain regions. Faridabad, Amritsar, Jalandhar, Patiala are the important cities. Chandigarh is the common capital of both Punjab and Haryana states. Sikhism is the predominant faith in Punjab. The holiest of Sikh shrines, the Sri Harmandir Sahib Golden Temple, is the city of Amritsar. Do you know the Punjabi language written in the Gurmukhi script is the official language of Punjab? Punjabi is the second official language of Haryana, Chandigarh and Delhi. Culture of this region is known for its rich rituals songs, dances, food and dresses which have evolved over many centuries. This culture appears in the form of music, bhangra, giddha dances and cuisines. Festivals like Lori, Basant, Baisakhi and Tej are a strong reflection of regional culture. Four point six Economic Development Agriculture The vast fertile alluvial plain and a developed system of canals have turned the region into the granary of India. The region produces a marketable surplus of food grains. Agricultural researchers and enterprising farmers have ensured a prosperous agriculture in the region. The percentage of net area sown in the region is very high. Agriculture is characterized by a diversity of crops and predominance of food grains. Wheat, rice, gram, pulses, bajra, oil seeds, cotton and sugarcane are dominant crops in this region. Mechanized farming is practiced extensively in this region. Tractors are being increasingly used for agricultural operations. The crop cultivated in the irrigated areas are wheat, rice, sugarcane, maize, groundnut, mustard, while bajra, gram, and barley are grown in unirrigated areas. Do you know area under production? This plain has 38% area under wheat, 14% under rice, 6% under pulses and 5% under bajra cultivation. Among cash crops, cotton 9%, oil seeds 5% and sugarcane 2% are the dominant crops. It is a leading region in the wheat production. Rice is the second most important crop in the region.
The yield of cotton per hectare in Punjab is the highest in India. Mushroom farming is a recent development in the region. Cattle and dairy products are also very important in the region. Irrigation This alluvial plain has become prosperous because of the tube wells and canal irrigation. Areas near the rivers are served by canals. The region has a high percentage of irrigated land. The western part of Haryana has no river and the subsoil water in this part is generally brackish. Irrigation by tube wells is important in the northern districts of Jalandhar and Ludhiana. In Haryana, well irrigation is significant in the districts lying along the right bank of Yamuna Canal. Hydroelectricity projects has been developed on the Bees and Satluj River. Bhakra Nangal project on Satluj and Bees project on Bees River are the main projects. Coal based thermal power plants have been set up at Faridabad, Panipat, Rupnagar and Bhatinda. Mining The region is devoid of minerals except in the southern part where inferior iron ore deposits are found. Limestone in Ambala and Mahindragar is the only notable mineral of the region. Industries Though the region is basically agricultural, some large-scale industries including cotton and woolen textiles, fertilizers, light engineering goods, locomotive, paper, sugar, etc. have been set up here. Small-scale industries like bicycle, sports, handloom, hosiery, etc. are found in the region. Industries got a boost in the post-independence period. Financial assistance from the government, a large amount of energy generated by the Bhakranangar project, and a good market for consumer goods paved the way for industrialization in the region. Do you know Ambala is the largest manufacturer of scientific apparatuses? It is named as science of city of Haryana. Amritsar is specially known for textiles, machine tools and food processing industries. Jalandhar is leading center of sports good. Transportation Punjab and Haryana Plain has well developed railway network. All districts in this plain are interconnected. Major railway centers are Amritsar, Ludhiana and Rewari. Grand Trunk Road that connects to Kolkata to Amritsar passes through the region and then goes to Lahore in Pakistan which helps in the development of trade with Pakistan. All villages and towns are connected by roads. Amritsar has an international airport which helps in development of tourism. Punjab-Haryana Plain The Punjab-Haryana Plain is a fertile alluvial lowland situated to the west of Yamuna River and north of Rajasthan Desert. It forms a geographical unit which has a rich and ancient glorious past. The Indus Valley Civilization extended up to Punjab. Kurukshetra of Mahabharat fame is also located here. The region was invaded by the Huns, Turks, Mughals, etc. 
and has been the center of strategic and political activities throughout the history of India. 4.7 Natural Hazards and Environmental Problem Salinity is the main problem in this region that affects the fertility of the soil. This is because of the excessive irrigation along the canals. Canal irrigation has led to the problem of water logging. The water seeps through the unlined canals and raises the water table. In some areas, menace of water logging is accompanied by the formation of alkaline soil. The rising subsoil water brings up the salts which are left behind after the water has evaporated. Tej A fascinating festival for Hindu women. It takes place in the Shravan month of the Hindu calendar dedicated to the goddess Parvati. Baisakhi this festival marks the beginning of the solar year. People of North India, particularly Punjab, thank God for a good harvest. Baisakhi has a special significance for Sikhs as on this day in 1699, their 10th Guru Gobind Singh Ji organized the Order of Khalsa. Hydroelectricity Electricity generated by hydropower the production of electrical power through the use of the gravitational force of falling or flowing river. Green Revolution The introduction of high yielding varieties of seeds and the increased use of fertilizers and irrigation are known collectively as the Green Revolution, which provided the increase in the production needed to make India self-sufficient in food grains. Dope The tract of land lying between two rivers, do means two, ab means water or river. Lu The lu is a strong, hot and dry summer afternoon wind from the west which blows over the western Indo-Gangetic plain region of North India. It is especially strong in the months of May and June.